10. Five, three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition, good control. There's Mach 1. The pilots have started trimming for that turn towards space. Trim is now set. There is max Q. That's the point of maximum pressure exerted on the vehicle by the atmosphere. Those on board are experiencing about three Gs right now and traveling over a thousand miles an hour. That's incredible. I can imagine they're having quite a great time. We're at Mach 2. We're in the vertical headed towards space. This is the part where they're seeing Earth move away and seeing space come into view and seeing that they're going to space and just, it is an incredible feeling. The so we've got about Mach 2.8, Mach 3 approximately, and rocket motor cutoff. Amazing, the crowds here are just <laughs> absolutely going wild. I can't imagine what's happening in Antigua with them cheering them on. That's Incredible. Awesome. Go Keisha, go Anna, <laughs> go John. So everybody on board has been cleared to unstrap and enjoy that zero G experience. The pilots have unlocked the feather. That's the preparation so that they can raise the feather here momentarily. They're engaging the RCS as well. The feather is now starting to move on its way up. Everyone's up out of their seats just Oh, it's incredible. They're the all, I know, they're, it's, in, it's amazing. They're all going to the window and taking in this just absolutely incredible view of Earth, the planet where all of their experiences are held, everything they've ever known is That's wonderful. down below. The feather is all the way up. We have a predicted apogee of about 289,000 feet. That is amazing. Our crew looks like they're having an absolutely incredible time and they are officially astronauts. Welcome to space. Woo. Congratulations <laughs> to John, to Keisha, to Anna on becoming astronauts today. And a special congratulations to our Unity pilot, Kelly, for her first space flight. And welcome back to space, CJ and Beth. And the vehicle is oriented in that, that backflip or that upside down maneuver from our perspective. Uh, and you can see them just enjoying that view of the earth below. Oh, they, man, it's just incredible. I, I can see that they just can't take their eyes away. And it's, you know, it's hard for us to describe. We can obviously see they're having just an incredible time in space, taking in the views, but it's an experience. It's the silence. It's the views. It's yes. seeing our brilliant planet against the matte black of space. I can't imagine I can't imagine what, I mean, I, could, I can't imagine what they're going through right now, and I can't wait to hear about it. Yeah, well, we just achieved our apogee at 290,000 feet. That's 88 and a half kilometers. Amazing. And apogee is actually a very unique part of our experience. It's when our vehicle begins that descent back down to Earth, and everything stands still. It's just, and we take a moment in the cabin, silent, and looking out as a crew, and it's, 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 an, it's, it's an experience I can only <laughs> describe with these words, but one to be felt, really. Yes, so the pilots have initiated the uh, uh, motion to return the vehicle around, complete that backflip all the mm -hmm. way around, and orient us for the uh, re-entry. <clears throat> They've just made the return to seat call. They do that before we get to about 0.1 G or 500 feet. Pre-flare, that's pulling the nose up and uh, taking advantage of the ground effect. It's extra lift you get when you're close to the ground. We've crossed the threshold. That's the beginning of the runway. Beautiful. And touch down of the main gear. Now CJ's gonna hold the nose gear up for a little bit. That helps bleed off the uh, energy that the, the spaceship has uh, using the air drag associated with that. Now I started to lower the nose. And the nose gear is now down. So at a designated airspeed, 
the pilots have the option to apply the brakes or not. They can let the, uh, let the vehicle uh, roll to a stop. We have plenty enough runway here. They are applying the brakes uh, today, so. Um, we have 12,000 feet of runway here 12, at Spaceport America. 12,000 feet of runway <laughs> and 200 feet wide, so plenty of room. <laughs> and full stop. Whoa, oh my gosh, amazing. <laughs> Beautiful landing. Congratulations to everyone on board.